guys, I am Darcy Workman, and the book I'll be discussing this week from the one the Caldecott Award is Tuesday by David Weissner. He was not only author, but he was also the illustrator. Um, they were published by HMH Books. Their copyright date was in 1991, so it's a bit of an older book. Um, I would say the genre is fantasy because it's nothing realistic, it's all fun. And I would definitely say that this is for like a preschool to third grade range. Um, the story starts off at about 8 o'clock on Tuesday evening. And it just starts off with some a turtle on a log and these horizontal frames. And the illustrator, David Weissner, does a really good job using such realistic colors in his drawings. And then the next illustration you see is the frogs or the toads floating on lily pads above the turtle and the turtle being confused on what's happening. So it just goes throughout the night. At different times of the night, the toads do different things. They're flying over houses. They're flying down chimneys into houses. They're flying through clotheslines and getting caught in sheets and then using the sheets as capes. Um, one of my favorite illustrations from this book is this one where they fly into a house and there's an elderly lady asleep in her chair and they're using the remote control to watch the TV, to watch whatever they want. And there's just lots of fun illustrations like they're chasing a dog and the dog's running away scared. And then all of a sudden the night starts to end and it starts to become morning and the lily pads fall on the street there's an investigation going on of why the lily pads are there and the frogs just hop back to their thing. This all happened on Tuesday night. Nothing else happened throughout the night or throughout the rest of the week even. And then next Tuesday came and pigs were flying. So it's kind of just a fun, every Tuesday night, a different animal ends up doing some magical thing like flying in the air that normally wouldn't. And I really liked this book because it was unique as in it didn't have words. It was mainly illustrations, but it still told such a great story. Um, this book, like I said, is more of a fun book for the younger kids. And it reminds me a lot of Toy Story. Where Toy Story is the toys are alive when they aren't around the humans. But once humans come back, they shut everything down so the humans never see that they are alive and this kind of is they go in the middle of the night they're doing the magical things nobody sees them and then once it's morning and people would normally come out and see them everything just drops I think for my activity I would have the younger younger kids get out crayons and a piece of paper and just draw and draw and color um, like David Weissner would of their favorite animal and have them floating on something and for the older kids I would have them write a little mini story of three to four pages make their own illustrations and tell their own story about how their animal flew thank you guys